Hi, welcome to this example on solving trig equations. Now in this example we've got to solve 2 sec squared theta plus tan theta equals 3. For theta between 0 and 2 pi radians inclusive. So how do we solve an equation like this? Well first of all I'd be thinking whether when I subtract 3 from both sides whether I could actually factorise it. If I could, I could put each of the individual factors equal to zero. But looking ahead, I can't do that at the moment. I also notice that I've got the same angle, so that's okay, but different trig functions, sec squared theta and tan theta. So what I would be wanting to do is to put it into the same trig function. And to do that, I would use a trig identity. And the one that springs to mind is this one which you should really know 1 plus tan squared theta is identical to sec squared theta. So in using this one I could replace the sec squared theta here with 1 plus tan squared theta and get an equation all in terms of tan theta. So let's do that then. So Therefore, what we would have is 2, and in place of the sec squared theta, we would have 1 plus tan squared theta. So we'll write that in there. And then we've got plus tan theta, and that equals 3. I'd expand the bracket now and get 2 plus 2 tan squared theta plus tan theta equals 3. Now this is a quadratic equation in tan theta, because it's got a tan squared theta term. But what I need to do in order to solve this is to put it in the right format. The squared term first, then the tan theta, and then the constant equals zero. So I'll rearrange that. So we've got 2 tan squared theta plus tan theta. And then I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So we've got 2 take away 3, which is minus 1, and it equals 0. Now this particular quadratic actually factorizes. So we could put a couple of brackets up here. And we've got 2 tan theta and tan theta. And then minus 1 and plus 1. And if you expand that out you'll see that you get that quadratic expression here. OK, so what that means now is that either 2 tan theta minus 1 equals 0, or the other factor, tan theta plus 1, that equals 0. And what does these two equations lead to? Well, if we rearrange this one, we get tan theta equals a half or tan theta equals minus one. So two equations, two versions of tan theta. Just to say by the way that if you struggle in factorizing you could always use the quadratic formula here only this time it would be tan theta equals, remember the quadratic formula is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a, where b is the 1 here, a is the 2, and c is the minus 1. Where a is the 2, b is plus 1, and c is minus 1. And if you substitute it into that formula, worked it out, you'd end up with these two results here. OK, so now we've got our two equations. I'll deal with them separately. So we'll start with when tan theta equals a half. So to get theta, we would inverse tan both sides. So theta equals the inverse tan of a half. And when I get this, to get all the solutions now between 0 and 2 pi, I would first of all draw up a quadrant diagram. Start with no radians here. This would be the equivalent of 90 degrees, or in radians, pi upon 2. 
this one would be pi radians 3 pi upon 2 and back to 2 pi and we need to find the quadrants where tan of an angle is positive because we've got plus a half here and tan is positive in the first quadrant and the third quadrant so you draw a line equally inclined to the horizontal line here marking your angles this time theta between naught and 2 pi so turning anti-clockwise we've got this one is a possible theta mark that in in red start again from here turn to the next blue line and that's another possible value for theta so we're working in radians so make sure your calculator is in radians mode take the inverse tan of a half and what you'll find you get is theta equals 0.4636 and so on radians I'm going to write a little c there to denote radians or you could write the word radians now what does that mean when we come over here well it means that this red theta which is equivalent to this little blue angle in here that angle is 0.4636 radians and that means that this little blue angle in here is also 0.4636 radians so we've got the red angle we need the green one which is going to be pi radians equivalent of half a turn and then we add the 0.436 angle on so pi plus this angle comes out at 3.605 and so on radians so we've got two values of theta there now we need to just go on and solve this other part here when tan theta equals minus one so we'll just scroll up okay and We'll leave those two equations on display so we now move on to the next one and that's when tan theta equals minus one so when tan theta equals minus one again inverse tan both sides draw your quadrant diagram only this time where is tan negative tan is negative in the second and fourth quadrant so draw our line through there equally inclined to the horizontal line here marking those two angles marking the angles that we require that one round to there theta and then the other one all the way round till we hit the blue line again theta use the calculator to work out what the inverse tan of minus one is now the inverse tan of minus one well this on a calculator is going to come up as a negative angle because it always selects the closest angle to the zero zero radians and it will choose to take this turn in this direction and if you do that on a calculator if your calculator gives exact answers it will come out as minus pi upon 4 the equivalent in degrees of minus 45 degrees this is one that we should really know actually so minus pi upon 4 is the exact value if your calculator was just working in decimals the angle that you'd see on the screen is minus 0 0.7853 and so on radians all right so that is the decimal equivalent of it the trouble is though we don't really want this angle it's out of range we wanted just this red one and the green one so I'm just going to put that in brackets because we're not going to want that one later on but it is useful in helping us work out what the red one is so we know that this blue angle in here in magnitude is really just 0 0.7853 and so on radians so to get the red one I just need to do half a turn pi radians minus that 0 0.78 odd number and if you do that what you should get is three quarters pi for your answer okay so 
that's if you're working in exact mode and I would suggest you do that actually so we've got three quarters pi radians there okay and if you go all the way around to here you're going to do 2 pi minus now the, th the uh, quarter pi radians so that's 2 pi minus a quarter pi leaves you with 7 quarters pi radians so 7 pi over 4 and they're in radians so we'll just mark a little c there so all we need to do now is just round up all the answers and we've got theta equals 0.5 radians from the very first part to one decimal place. That's that one there if I round it up. Next one is this one here, 3 quarters pi radians. Then round this one up at 3.6 radians to one decimal place and then you've got this exact value here of 7 pi over 4 radians. Okay well that brings us now to the end of this example and I hope you've been able to follow that one.